time. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Hey, you guys. I hope I'm live. Sorry for the delay. I thought I could do it on my phone, but then <sighs> just technical difficulties. So we're on my computer. Thank you so much for being here on such short notice. Um, but I did some damage today at Target and <laughs> just thought I would show you everything. And I did get a few things a few days ago um, that I'll show you as well. And everything is linked down below because like some of this stuff is hard to find online, but you can find it in store. So definitely scour your Target stores. And I went to, let's see, I went to two today alone, but I've gone to another one and I think I need to hit that one up again. But anyway, okay, whew, where to even begin? Like I have this going on back here that I never thought I would like be into this. Like you guys have so seen this, this like pompous grass or whatever. Um, this, I always am like, what? Like, I don't know. I just see this everywhere and I'm like, what is the big deal? But literally it looks so good. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So I got three, um, like stems of it and they're pretty long stems. And then I got this ceramic vase. Um, this is from the Project 62 line. And I got a lot of stuff from Project 62 and Threshold. Those are like the brands that I've been having the best luck with. Um, and these are like a light pink, if you can tell, like a dusty light pink. And they don't shed. Like even the um, cashier was like worried about touching them to put them in the bag that they would like crumble but they don't shed at all the it's pretty amazing how real they look but not um they're not gonna fall apart or anything and then this vase is stunning it is so like sturdy and um this is the bigger one they also had a like shorter one but i just loved how this looked with the little stems so that is what we have going on back here and I didn't take the price tags off. So it'll look even better in a little bit, but I also have this mirror um, that I got the other day and it's like the first link down below. Um, this is the threshold wall mirror and <laughs> it says on a golden pretzel, which I just thought was so funny, um, but it's huge. Like I have this on my new nightstand or not nightstand um dresser and it like is just perfect with the um like the scale and stuff like it is really big it goes all the way over here all the way over there um it's let's see how big is it 30 by 42 inches so it is a very very large mirror and I'm just going to prop it up on here um in my new place and spoiler alert we got a place <laughs> and um I haven't posted my video yet but um we have our future place so um now I'm really able to like kind of go crazy and map things out so um yeah, thank you guys so much for all the good vibes because I think that really helped us like find somewhere pretty quickly. Like I still can't believe all that has happened in the past two weeks. So I am so, so excited. Thank you guys. Oh, I love you. You're so sweet. And um, obviously when, when we get there, I will be showing you everything and I absolutely cannot wait. So that is kind of what's going on back here. Oh, and I have this lamp. So let me see. Um, the lamp itself, I got at Goodwill, um, and I love it. It is like a cut crystal or cut glass base and, or like whatever you would call this part. And then the base is gold. And I bought this lampshade on or at Target today. And this is the Project 62 Montreal small lampshade. And um, the lampshade was $10 and it has a plastic cover on it. So 
it'll be, uh, that'll be removed and it won't be shiny. But I just really like how this looks like mixing the modern with like the more old fashioned. So, and it is heavy. Yes, this is really, really heavy. And at Goodwill, so I just bought like the lamp itself at Goodwill. And that was only $5. So like, they don't even make things like this anymore. Or if they do, I don't shop at those stores because it's probably like hundreds of dollars. Um, but yeah, I am just such a huge proponent of going to Goodwill, Salvation Army, if you have a Habitat of Humanity restore. Um, actually, today I got another lamp. I'm like lamp crazy right now. Um, and this one is also really heavy and really, really big. Um, oh, I just love this. I got this at the Salvation Army, so you never know what you're going to find. Uh, but I just love like the architectural lines and it's like a cream color. Um, and it came with a lampshade, which I was surprised about. The lampshade is a little more traditional than I like typically go for, but I don't know. I might leave it. I might, I really want to find a black like oval lampshade. So that'll be my next thing. But this was $9 with the shade. So that was really good. Um, because most of the time, like at Target, their lamps are like their table lamps are between like the cheapest I saw was like 20 and they went over 50. Um, especially a big lamp like that, that would probably be definitely over 50. So to get that for eight dollars was really awesome. Um, but you just don't know what you'll find at those stores. Um, so like Goodwill, any um thrift stores near you, like just look look them up google thrift stores near me and um yeah i found so many fun things but i love target so i'm always looking there um and i also showed you guys this mirror which is hard to tell what it looks like in the uh packaging because it has this um and this is weird because i'm seeing the reflection but it has like styrofoam so the white isn't part of the mirror um, let me try to show you without like ruining everything, but um, maybe you can see it like has these little crisscrosses at the corners. And this is a um, Threshold Studio McGee um, like collaboration. So this one is, I think I'm going to put this one in my office slash beauty room. So, oh my gosh, I am like so freaking excited because I'm going to have my own office, which I'll also be using as like my getting ready area and my like filming, like my main filming area, I think. But the house is going to be so cute that like I could film anywhere and I'll definitely film like in my bedroom and stuff. But I'm thinking to put this in my office because Basically, for my bedroom, my vibe is like um, dark, like how this dresser is like black. Um, so my main color scheme is like dark black or like walnut furniture and then um, accents with gold. I'll have gold like everywhere. Gold slash brushed, brush gold slash brass. That's what I realized I really like. Um, and then, so my bedroom will be a little more moody with like deep teals and emeralds and oh my God, it's going to be amazing. Um, I can like picture it so clearly and I'm so excited and I'm going to have a reading nook, you guys. <laughs> it's going to be so like me. Oh my God. And then my office slash beauty room is going to be more lighter woods, white, um, like light natural wood, I would say, and then like whites, gold slash like the brass colors. And um, I have a really, really fun desk that is going to be my pop of color. So, oh my gosh, so, so exciting. So much fun stuff upcoming. But 
This I'm actually going to use as my trash can in my office. <laughs> Not very interesting, but um, I really liked it because it's like the brushed gold slash brass. Like they say both things, so I don't really know, but like you know it if you know it. So um, basically, I just really liked this and I need a trash can like everywhere. Um, I also bought this a few days ago, but I think I'm going to return this. This is also the brushed gold, um, style. And this is just like a vase. Um, so I was originally going to go this route before I found like the ceramic and then the next two pieces that I'm going to show you. I love them so much more. So this was $10, which isn't bad, but I'd rather get $10 back because <laughs> I like these other pieces more. Um, so these were such great finds today. Oh, I really hope the camera is like picking up the color. These are like a bronze, like a metallic bronze. Um, and I don't know if it's metal or what it really is made out of, but I just loved this. So I got this taller one. And then I got this more round one and I was thinking to put the round one like with this little setup here. Um, I just like the different like heights. So this one, I'm not sure where I'll put it, but I absolutely love it. Um, and it actually had a dent, like it has a pretty big dent in the bottom and the cashier gave me 50% off. So that was awesome. So uh that was exciting and it like makes it so it doesn't sit perfectly like level but it's fine and 50% off made it um uh, much more palatable so that I love a lot more than the other vase and you know all that good stuff uh what else oh these are like okay so you guys saw my headboard my um amazing vintage find. Um, if you live in the Lehigh Valley, look up vintage repurposed in Emmaus. Wow. Like that store, if you love like mid-century modern, you will die and go to heaven. Like it is insane. It is so beautiful. And so I got, um, this Broyhill Brasilia, Brasilia, um, walnut headboard that is just to die for. Like, I loved it so much. I didn't even know what it was. Like, I just liked it. And now I like it even more knowing that it's like this really popular brand and stuff. So I have that as my main focal point for like my bed. And then I ordered the um, Pottery Barn. I think it was called like Waffle Weave um, duvet cover. So excited about that. Thank you so much, Kate, for that recommendation. Um, so I basically have like my bed kind of like grooving. And so I've been watching some home decor videos and they talk a lot about like symmetry and how that helps just like elevate your space. And I've never been one to like be matchy, matchy really. Like I like having things go together, but like never really matching. But that just like symmetry thing made me feel like, like, yes, I want that. You know, I want that symmetry. So um, I found, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> um, I found um, these Ikea side tables that were like $80 each which seemed like a lot for side tables. Like they hopefully are solid wood. I'm not really sure, but they were gorgeous. But then I was like, I really don't want to buy two $80 side tables. Like I just didn't want to. So I actually found these at Target. I think I forgot to link these down below. Um, these are the Room Essentials brand and these are the black finish. Um, and it's essentially the same thing, like where it's a circular top, the like whatever posts, and then the circular like spot down below. So I got two of these and these were only $20 each. So I got two for half the price of one of the Ikeas. And, um, 
yeah, like I just can't say no to that. So I got two of those and then I got super lucky today and I found these at um, Target and these are the Project 62 table lamp brass finish. And so these are going to go on top of the black side tables as like my nightstands. So there's going to be, I have two of them and they said that they're like totally out of stock, um, like online. And if you look, even I looked at the stores that I was going to and it said they were out of stock, but there was one each at each of the stores. So I ended up with two, which is so lucky. And it came with the ship. <gasps> The base is just the, like <laughs> taped on. Oh my God. So that was terrifying, but it's fine. Everything's fine. It just like is um, taped on. Oh my God. So that explains why these were $20, but $20 for a lamp to come with the shade. That's like pretty good. So um, yeah, we should be okay, even though I just pressed the bottom out. Um, and yeah, I just love these. I love how they look modern. Um, and they just like go with my whole thing. So those are really good and kind of complete my side tables and um like the nightstand situation okay what else Be bathroom so um i'm not like doing anything really crazy in my bathroom but my um shower curtain that i have that i'm going to be taking with me is like a white base like white cream and then has gold and silver like stitching I love it I've loved it for years and so it's a little more like glam than some of my other pieces so I found this soap dispenser and I just fell in love so it says that it's a foaming soap pump and it's like a really nice heavy glass and then a like shiny gold pump. And I never used to or ever have before like bought a refillable soap pump because I would just always buy the Bath and Body Works like foaming soaps. But what I do now is I buy the Smartly lavender hand soap, like huge container at Target. It's like less than $5 for this ginormous container. And I fill up a container I already have and then fill it halfway with the soap, halfway with the water. And then I shake it. And so it actually said on here that you can like either fill it with foaming liquid soap or mix your own using one part liquid soap and three parts water shake to mix. So um, I just loved how it looked and I already make my own liquid like foaming soap. So I thought that was great. And then this just like spoke my language so much. This is a really like nice and heavy glass like tray. You could use it for jewelry. My mom was like, you could put perfumes on it. Like I was thinking about using it in the bathroom for like my toothbrush and like whatever, you know, but I might get another one of these because it's really, really nice quality and it looks like vintage, but it's like brand new. So, um, I really love this. I love that it's like pretty large and it is glass, very, very solid. So, oh my gosh, I just love it. So can't wait to use that. And then, oh my gosh, I have a big thing over here. I wonder if I'll be able to show you. Hold, please. Okay. Here's another mirror to show you. So I got a standing mirror, like a, um, a, what do you call this? Like a floor mirror. And so this is from the Project 62 again. And this is like a walnut framed um mirror and the reviews are like really mixed about this item and I'm just gonna put it back so I don't drop it or knock it over okay 
I think, I think we're okay. Um, but basically I was really scared to do like a in-store pickup order for this mirror because a lot of people said that they have bought these in the past, but then they got one that like they did through either online ordering or in-store pickup. So they didn't like actually see it before they like took it home and it was warped. So like the mirror image wasn't like accurate. So I was so shocked to find this in store because it says that it's like out of stock at my stores, but I saw it. <laughs> my cart was so full. You guys, it was ridiculous. I had to put so much back. Like <laughs> if I would have had like a bigger cart, I would have bought way more stuff. It would have been so bad. Like I already bought so much. Um, but I found this mirror last and I was just like, oh, that's that mirror. I really like because it's that walnut finish and it has like a stand on the back. So you can actually prop it up on like without a wall behind it essentially so I put it on like the ground and I like scoped it out and it didn't seem to be warped at all so I'm hoping it isn't um because some people said they thought it was fine and then when they actually used it it was not as good as they thought so it's actually a good price for a floor mirror um it was 70 dollars and it's 20 inches wide by 60 inches tall and that's that's a really good price for that size of a mirror so really happy with that and hope it like lives up to my expectations you know and then i have two last things so i have looked at this for quite a while this has been out this is from the um Hearth and Hand collection with Magnolia, like Joanna and Gaines, and Joanna, Chip, and like, what am I saying? Joanna and Chip Gaines. I was trying to say like Joanna, Chip, and Gaines, like as if there were three people, but that's their last name. Okay, so I love this. It is um, like a walnut wood again. Um, and then it has like the galvanized silver and some gold accents or like brass, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it has feet on the bottom, which is really nice. Um, and this is heavy. Like this is a like sturdy piece and you could use this for so much decor. Like they call it a cake tray. So you can put like anything on it really. Like it is just beautiful. I love it. Um, I'm not sure if I'll put it in any of my specific rooms, but like even just the kitchen or another shared space that me and Alyssa will like decorate together. So I just love this and I love things with like layers and like height. So I really, really liked that. And then my last piece is actually from um, TJ Maxx. Um, and this, I, I've never really bought anything like this. That's, um, like woven, like natural materials. And I just really like this. It's pretty big. It has handles, which I thought was nice. And I just love this like crisscross design. I just thought that was really unique and pretty. And it was on clearance for $24, which like whenever I've seen big, like this is big, um, big baskets like this at like Target or like really Target is the place I've seen them the most. This size would be easily like $50. So like I thought 24 wasn't a bad price. And um, I'm thinking to use this in the like either in my reading nook, maybe like to put blankets in essentially is what I'm thinking for this. So I really, really liked how that looked and it brings in like a natural element to it. So like, I don't have a lot of like natural things like other than like the wood and, and stuff like that. So I'm trying to think about textures and all that good stuff so oh my gosh that is everything you guys I think I hope I didn't miss anything I'll add the link to the like end tables side tables nightstand things because I definitely forgot to do that um but yeah oh my gosh 
gosh, I'm just so excited to keep sharing this kind of stuff with you guys. And <laughs> I can't believe it. So, um, yes. Oh, oh, I love that idea, Michelle. Would love to see a video on how much it costs to move out or how much to save before moving out. Great suggestion because it adds up very quickly. So, um, and definitely stay tuned for later this week. I'll have my like true, like kind of announcement. And then my vlog this weekend will be even more stuff like now that it's finalized and everything. So, oh my God, can't wait can't wait to move. It's going to be here before I know it. So um, you're going to be seeing a lot of content related to that. And I just love <laughs> that you guys are so excited. It's so fun. And like, I would have had fun with it no matter what, but it makes it even more fun that you guys are here with me for it. So thank you so much again for joining at this last minute um, live. And um, I hope you all have a really great night and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Thank you so much again.